Let me just say, it is exciting to talk to you. Uh, you are phenomenal in this movie, and to see you just grow, as, you. of course, to see you grow as an actress between Godzilla vs. Kong and The New Empire, it's just been a pleasure of ours. It's you, You're so amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. Um, so one of the things that I have to ask is between Godzilla vs. Kong and the New Empire, uh, what were some of the challenges that you encountered on the New Empire that you didn't have to encounter the first time around? There wasn't many challenges I encountered. One thing that was a little bit challenging is I had to fake talking to the Iwi tribe using telekinetic powers. And so I had to figure out how that my reactions would be using my facial expressions and body language. So that was probably the more challenging part. It came across really lovely. Um, I, I think that that was definitely one of the coolest things to see was this evolution of Gia. Um, and without going into spoilers, because she goes through that journey, when you read about how cool the, the, the story was and how your character was going to evolve, how excited were you to see all this? Because I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Yeah. When I went back for the second movie, my character just is so amazing. And she's on a great adventure. And I can't wait for everybody to see her on her adventure. Of course. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait for it either because it's it's so cool. <laughs> um, uh, one of the things that I really loved in this movie and the last movie was your chemistry with Rebecca Hall, um, who is just a phenomenal actress. What was it like reuniting with her and how is it working with her? Um, do you guys have this really good mother daughter chemistry uh, just outside of the set as well? I was nervous about going back for the second movie, but I was confident because I knew I would be back with Rebecca. She's such a great actress and so great to work with. So when I got back, to the second movie, I knew that it was going to be great. You know, seeing her reminded me of who I can be on and off set. And I, I, I love all the tips that she has for her acting. That's wonderful to hear. Um, and then, you know, we've got some newcomers as well. Uh, Dan Stevens, who is just so much fun in this movie. Um, what was it like meeting Dan? Um, and did you guys have a lot of fun on set together? The first day that I met Dan, he was so happy. He smiled a lot too. And then when we went on set, of course he was making jokes and whatnot. And I knew that we were gonna have a great time acting alongside him on set. And then through, once we were done with acting, it felt great. Oh, I love that. Um, I think one of the things that I appreciate the most about both Godzilla versus Kong and the new empire is that one of the central characters is hearing impaired, is deaf, is Gia. And she is just, she's the main character. She's a complete badass. You're a complete badass. Um, what would you like to see in terms of representation like that for people who are hearing impaired or people who are deaf in future blockbusters similar to Godzilla versus Kong, Godzilla the New Empire, or any other movies later on? I really like seeing me in the movie, of course, because it opens more opportunity for the deaf community. Maybe other deaf actors will be able to see somebody like me in a big movie, and, and I hope I have a lot of influence on their decisions and opinions on that. I think you will. I mean, just seeing this character and seeing your performance as Gia, you know, it's inspirational because you're powerful in this movie, not just from a powers perspective, but your acting and everything that you're able to do with your eyes and how you communicate and how you, you know, work with all of your different actors and green screen, which is difficult. Um, so to me, I think that people have a lot to look up to as far as seeing you in this role and, and seeing your impact in this role. And hopefully you agree. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, now, you've been part of the MonsterVerse for about half a decade or so. Um, you know, I mean, this franchise is huge. And your character has evolved a lot in two movies. Where do you want to see Gia evolve further later on um, as 
further installments of the MonsterVerse come out. Gia has to has found her home, you know? She found the Eevee tribe. She sees where she was from. And she's a leader. She's encouraging people to help and she wants to help as well. I think there's a lot of potential in Gia. It definitely is. We love this character a lot and I want to see her, you know, in future MonsterVerse installments. Um, with Godzilla minus one now actually being an Oscar winner, and really just showing what we could do with storytelling in this genre. Uh, would you want to see the monster verse uh, become a little bit more uh, like serious as far as awards contention goes? And would you want to see the Academy kind of pay more attention to genre movies like Godzilla versus Kong, the new empire or Godzilla and Kong, the new empire? Yeah, I think this is the perfect kind of movie for that because, you know, there's fighting and there's destruction, but also it has a sweet, heartfelt moment. And all of that combined into one makes for a great movie. And the purpose of this is to make people love it. And it all works out in the end of the in the end of the movie. It also has phenomenal acting, of course, <laughs> you know, with you and uh, with everyone else. Um when you're acting with green screen and with these these fictional characters, is can you talk about some of the challenges there having to react to a character like Kong that isn't there? I mean, um, how do you approach that? I do know my lines, of course, and the emotions that I want to put into the character. So I think about that a lot. And then once I'm there, I put that all into my mind and I make sure to talk to Godzilla and I picture him in my brain when I'm acting. Very Excuse cool. Me, Very cool. Um, upon some of the newer creatures and monsters that we see in this movie, were there any that you read about or you saw that you thought were like the coolest things ever, like in this film versus the last film? I think Kong, when goes, when he goes to hollow earth, I think one of the monsters there that he meets down there is so cool. Yeah, I think it's so cool to see him in the movie. So I think that he would be one of my favorite characters. Are there... The Titans, the Titans there that are there. I like them. Are there any monsters uh, in the MonsterVerse that you would want to see and, and act with uh, in the future? Like, uh, at least see your character alongside, like uh, Rodan or maybe Ghidorah returning or anything like that? I'm open to acting alongside any of those monsters. You know, Kong wasn't really my thing until I got into this world and I'm up for anything. Well, I love that answer because we'd love to see you interact with Kong uh, for as long as we can and with Godzilla. This is such a spectacular movie. It's a special movie for fans like us who love these titans, who love these monsters. And honestly, just getting to see you on screen just kicking ass and and being so great and being so influential to the deaf community. Uh, it warms my heart and it makes me feel so happy. Um, so honestly, thank you so much for this wonderful time. Thank you so much for this wonderful performance, this wonderful character. And I just can't wait to yeah. see uh, in, in more of these MonsterVerse movies because you're so great. So keep them coming, please. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Have a great day, Kaylee. Thank you so much for everything. Directors, comments and the lectures. Fanboys, professional artists and professors. Maybe a nerd who's just like you. Talking about the things that you like too. So I invite you to the NOC.